Okay, Donna, my question is, I have a worksheet as part of my course. Do I have an option of setting this up in Thinkific so that it can be submitted by the student and then I can review it? And would I be able to get a notification? Great question. Yes, you can. So um, I'm going to take you into my little demo site here. Um, what you do is you go to manage learning content, click on courses and then go into your course. So here's a pretend one here that I've been making. And you simply press add a lesson and you have the option to have an assignment lesson. So you click on assignment lesson and here you can title it, um, you know, do your assignment. <laughs> and give them the instructions here. So you can type in whatever you want. You can add in um, images, you can add in bullet points, everything else, you can change the colors, change the fonts, um, and then quite simply drop your document inside here. So it will be a downloadable document. So um, I'll just grab something random for, this, for a second just to show you. Um, press open. So pretend, I've, I've just uploaded an image, but let's pretend it was a PDF workbook or something just for the sake of this. Um, student submissions, how high or low do you want the megabytes to be? Like maybe you only want people to upload a certain size, that's completely up to you. What confirmation message do you want to have your, to give your students? So there's a, a, de a default one in there, which is, you know, we'll email you once we've completed reviewing your submission. So you can change that to whatever you want it to be, blah, 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 blah. Or you can just use their, um, their default setting there, but I'll put some blah, 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 blah in there for now. Um, and quite simply press save and yes you can um, enable notifications to you as well you can also enable discussions you can also make it what's called a prerequisite so that means they have to submit the assignment in order to move to the next lesson um, my advice would be when it comes to things like assignments is to not make them be forced to stop moving on in the course. Um, if you know they have to pass the test to move forward, it's quite likely that you'll have a lot of people not completing your course. And that, so unless it is accredited training, unless it's training that requires evidence submission, I would always turn that off um, personally, just so that they, you don't want anyone stopping moving forward with your course. That's uh, how I look at it. So um, I'm gonna turn this off of draft, press save. Um, and then preview the course. So I can show you what this looks like as a student. So whenever you press preview the course, this is what you will be able to see um, from the student's perspective. Um, where I've got the do your assignment lesson, this is what it looks like. So there was all those blah, blah, blah instructions I made. Here is the document, so I can press download and it will allow me to download that document. I just put, picked a picture, but that could have been my PDF workbook or my template that I've got to fill in. And then when I finished it, I can simply drag and drop it there or I can import it from you know, any of my Dropbox or Google Drives. Um, and yes, you can turn on your notifications. So just to show you where that is, um, if I go back to my, um, my back end here, you go to support your students and you go to assignments and obviously no one's filled one in so um, when you when students have filled them in they'll be there but also in your notifications so support your students click on notifications and it says here notify me when blah 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 blah, blah a student submits their assignment so off or on. So if I've got that turned on, Thinkific will send me an email to say Sarah has submitted her assignment. So I then come into here and I go into my assignment section and that's where I'll find Sarah's assignment waiting for me to review. Nope. Will, will Thinkific, can you set it up so that you get notifications outside of Thinkific or you have to be logged into Thinkific to get the notifications? Oh, no, you don't have to be logged in at all. So you could be asleep okay. in bed and the, email, the Thinkific notification will go to your email address. Okay. It's an so email. when you all set right. up your site, it will say to you, um, what email address would you like to associate with your site? And that's the email address that it will go to. Um, and so that's like, for instance, uh, bigger organizations or people who have assistants actually put their assistants email address in there rather than their own so that all those assignment emails go to that address instead of your own inbox which is a good little trick. Mm -hmm.